And what's going on, YouTubers? This is your favorite Onion back with a State of Decay 2 Daybreak Weapons Review. And in this review, I'm going to be looking at the first unlockable weapon, the Clio Pistol. Although the stats and specs for the weapon speak for themselves, I will be giving my evaluation on the weapon's abilities in combat. Evaluation will take place on four main fronts. Ammunition economy, crowd control, pressure combat, and the most optimal role of the wielder. So looking at the pistol's ammunition economy, pretty much how long the weapon can practically last, the Clio pistol has a rather small magazine size containing only 8 rounds, and as witnessed on the weapon's attributes, has a low damage output. At the same time, since the magazine size is so small, there is less of a demand on Clio ammo, which all come in 32 round magazines, or for the Clio pistol, 4 mags. This results in a less taxing consumption of Clio ammo. Additionally, due to the small clip size, a wise user would be more prone to pick their shots carefully. Due to the low damage output, this weapon creates the illusion that every enemy will be difficult to eliminate. However, considering the crosshair is not too large or too small, performing headshots or one-hit kills on the average zombie is of little difficulty. Though the point must be stressed that the Clio pistol is best used in close to mid-range combat. Anywhere beyond is a waste of ammo, especially against the Feral. Going a bit further, armored zombies will be a significant nuisance as most rounds will be ineffective in dismantling their helmet, forcing the wielder to use melee attacks. Lastly, Juggernauts are simply tickled by the rounds of the Cleo pistol and would consequently result in a high amount of ammo expenditure for minor results. Alright, so moving on to crowd control. Pretty much how quickly one can eliminate a crowd that is typically around a barricade. The Clio pistol is a semi-automatic weapon without an alternative fire setting. However, it can still be fired rather quickly and the reload speed is very high. At the same time, given the Clio pistol's low ammo and damage output, I would highly discourage using it to eliminate a large number of targets without much care for precision. Without precision, the Clio pistol is pretty much useless and one would be better off using a different weapon, at least for such purposes as crowd control. As mentioned earlier, armored zombies will be a significant nuisance and attempting to eliminate just one using the Clio pistol may likely require more than one mag unless you get really lucky and take the helmet off in one shot. Now we'll look at pressure combat. Pressure combat refers to how efficiently a ranged weapon can be used to eliminate targets in multiple areas, or how well said weapon can complement your ability to eliminate multiple scattered enemies from varying ranges. The best of combatants can mix weapon fire with the use of their melee weapon. The Cleo pistol has good potential to be a headshot machine, and it's the one-shot ability of a ranged weapon that aids the user in their ability to eliminate multiple scattered targets. However, the Cleo pistol is ideally used in close quarters, meaning that your ability to take down targets on both ends of your barricades is severely inhibited. This could also prove dangerous if your barricades are down and there are many zombies sprinting towards you and your technician. Not only will your ammo be painfully limited, forcing you to rely more on melee strikes, but the effective range forces the user to wait for the incoming horde to close in, which can only result in greater pressure and demand for eliminating targets quickly. When forced in close range, however, a melee weapon and the Clio pistol can prove to be a strong pair as both weapons are within their element. Reaction speed and proper prioritization are key in successfully repelling zombies. Now as for the ideal role of this weapon, there are three roles weapons can fit into. Defensive, aggressive, or hybrid. Given everything about the Clio pistol discussed so far, I would firmly say that its use should be reserved for defensive purposes only. Since it is best used in close range, one would optimize its effectiveness if they remained behind their barricade and simply went for headshots. 
Now it is possible to play the aggressive role with the Cleo pistol. However, you would lose ammo a lot more quickly and would be just as taxing as if you were using an assault rifle. As for my overall opinion, I personally enjoyed using the Cleo pistol when it was first unlocked, but its limitations became more and more clear as I would progress through each wave. I surely would not call it a game-changing weapon since it can barely do much damage against the most threatening enemy in the game, the Juggernaut. But it can be useful in the beginning, the first 1-3 waves. It is a pistol after all, it should come secondary to other weapons. If I were to give it a score out of 5, I would give this weapon a firm 2.5. Hey, you reached the end of the video, great job, now hit subscribe.